I am constantly expanding. My container is huge. In fact, it's infinite. The scientists call me dark energy. They cannot see or detect me, but they know I am here. Every part of me is essential to my being. I am. Sarah, Laura, Sarah, Laura, Sarah, Laura. I am Laura, and I'm Sarah, and we are the, the Hagel twins. twins. We were invented right here in Buffalo, New York. Our mother's family came from Eastern Europe, and our father's from the Middle East. And somewhere along the lines of our ancestry, on both sides of the family, there was a vision to create a better future for the generations to come. Much like the dark, elusive energy that's constantly expanding this great universe, there too is a life force energy moving through each one of us, moving us forward to choose, create, and live our best lives. Four days after our 16th birthday, I dropped out of school and left home. I felt trapped, like I didn't belong in my family or in my community, and I had to break free to find where I belonged. I was searching, and there was an urgency within my being to find the perfect fix that would fill this deep void that I felt in the center of my soul. I thought that by finding my tribe, it would save me from the loneliness I had felt since I was a young girl. When Laura left home, I was devastated, like half of me was missing. I literally traveled around the country to find her, and when I did, that part of me was still gone. Through the gift of a gratitude journal and a new passion for dance, I began learning how to love myself, see the good in life, follow my own heart, and listen to the wisdom within me. Years later, through a course in radical self-responsibility, I had a major breakthrough. At 32 years old, I realized for 16 years, I held it over Laura's head that she left me. What I came to realize is, she never left me. I left myself long before Laura ever left home. It wasn't until I was 29 that I started to realize the power that I have as a co-creator of my life. As a young single mother who had experienced devastating heartbreak, I realized I have been living my life as a victim. When I hit rock bottom, I sought the support of a life coach, and thus began my journey towards learning how to love myself. What I've found to be true is that my journey, my destiny, my legacy is ultimately a culmination of the things that I choose in each moment. Much like this three light year tall tower of gas that is being both eaten by starlight and stardust on the outside and expanded by new stars exploding from within it, we too are experiencing life's great transformation, letting go of ways that no longer serve us and stepping in to new ways of being. We invite you to take an honest and empowering look at yourself and your life. What are you choosing? What's possible when you step into self-responsibility and become a conscious co-creator of the life you want? We leave you with this. Who am I being? What am I choosing? What do I want? How will I live? Who am I being? What am I choosing? What do I want? How will you live? Who am I being? What am I choosing? What do I want? How will we live? Who am I being? What am I choosing? What do I want? Come on, hear it. Who am I being? What am I choosing? What do I want? Sing it with us. Who am I being? What am I choosing? What do I want? Who am I being? What am I choosing? What do I want?